five shoes with carbon plates and super foam, but which one should you buy? First up, we got a new shoe. We got the... Hoka Mach, Mach X. X. And if we just forget about the name, because this seems like a love child of the Mach, the Rocket X2, and maybe the Clifton. Yes. Yeah. So this is a daily trainer with a carbon plate. It has that peep of foam in the top, and then a little bit of a more EVA-based foam in the bottom. And has a lot of foam. It has a lot of foam and it's really nice and cushioned. Yes. And uh, for me, I'm the one that ran in it. I feel like it's a mid-level shoe for speed. Yeah, so if you want to go, yeah, that moderate pace and you want to pick up the pace sometimes, I think the Mach X is doing a really, really good job. So that is my take on it, at least. Let's just put it uh, maybe there. Maybe there. Yeah. Let's see if we can find another shoe. We could. The New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer V2. Yes. Wow. These two shoes are kind of the same. I can see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year's version was a little bit bigger, a little bit softer. This one is a little bit slimmed down. They pulled it down to 40 millimeters of stack <laughs> yeah. in the heel, uh, which is what is legal for road racing. Yeah. Uh, it's just, for me, it's a Mac X that's just a little bit softer. Yes, it has the fuel cell material in all of the midsole yeah. and it has the energy arc carbon plate. Yeah, yeah. so this carbon here, there's a P-Bax plate in this one. Yes. Yeah, and apart from that, it's really, really close. Maybe a little bit more bounce in this one. This one has some spring to it though. Okay. So, yeah. So softer and bouncier maybe, or kind of the same bounce? Maybe the same bounce, but softer. Okay. Yeah. So this one is a little bit faster than this one. Oh no! No 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 no, 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 no! I think okay. it, I think they're pretty much the same. Okay. Yeah. Next up, we got Boston Twelve from Adidas. It's a very very versatile daily trainer, up tempo kind of shoe. I would myself use it for daily training, easier miles, not not recovery runs, but just everyday running. I could see myself using it on long runs where I would like to pick up the pace. Yeah, I can see exactly what you're saying. And it just feels like a more well-rounded shoe than the last version. There's some differences between these two and that one. This one might feel a little bit more firm than these two, uh, but it has a really, really nice rocker and has a lot of that really soft and bouncy. Light Strike Pro. Yes, in the forefoot. And then they put the Light Strike 2.0 in the heel, which yeah. is a very, very nice addition yeah. to the shoe. It has the uh, the rods. Instead of the carbon plate, it has yeah. rods. Yeah, and these are like glass fiber composite something. Fingers. So the difference is there, if you want to go for a little bit firmer shoe, still not super firm, then uh, the Boston 12 is good. It also has a static upper, so it holds a little bit more, uh, while these have a more of an accommodating upper, a little bit softer. We stay in Germany. We got the Puma Deviate Nitro 2. Not the Deviate Nitro Elite, but no. the Deviate Nitro 2. And it has some Elite foam in it. Yeah, so yeah. don't be confused. <laughs> this one is one of the top things that Puma is making right now. I tried it out and I liked it very, very much. This uh, Nitro Elite foam, super nice. And then it has the carbon plate in it as well, which just makes it really nice for when you pick up the pace, but it's still soft enough that you can go easy daily training in it. Yes. And the grip is Puma. exceptional Puma in this grip. one. Yeah, it's something strange. They, they just come out of nowhere yep. with all these new Puma shoes and the Puma grip is just really outstanding. Yes, definitely the best grip out of these yeah. four shoes we have right now. So if you want a shoe that has a little bit more grip, can also be tuned to be a little bit fast, mm -hmm. borderline going to tempo, yeah. then uh, the Deviate Nitro 2 is a really good one. The borderline shoe. Borderline. <laughs> On the other side of the border, we have 
And we discussed this yeah, we because <laughs> this is the uh, this is a Saucony and Dolphin Speed Free, yeah. and uh, we discussed if uh, this was beyond or which side of of the border yeah. this shoe was on. I think that you should take this because yeah. this is this is this is this is my shoe. What you get here is a little bit of a lighter shoe. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of a softer foam than in the previous versions, so it feels like you can also run slow in it. But the lightness, that plastic plate. It just makes for a really fast and fun tempo shoe. Yes, and tempo shoe is is what I think <laughs> of when I see the shoe. Yeah. And I can see what you mean. Yeah. I, it's it's light, it's soft. Why shouldn't you just run all your miles in, in this shoe? Because it's, it's so comfortable. Some people just love a lighter shoe. Mm. Then that one is a prime example of a good daily trainer. But if you want a little bit more cushion, you go up here, right? So. We've tried to like put them in order of kush to push. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was good. That's a good one. Yeah. So that is five great, fantastic shoes with plates, with super foam. Some call them super trainers. You can buy them all on runningexpert.com.